Welcome to Virginia This Morning. I'm Jessica Nall. We kick things off in the kitchen with our good friend, Shane Rogers, <laughs> a.k.a. Shania. Are you getting used to that yet, Shania? I'm, I'm pretty used to it by now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a quick and tasty snack you can enjoy, we have a great recipe that uh, Shane's going to share with us. It's great to see you again. Nice to be here. This looks easy peasy and classic, if I might add. And a little hint of Virginia. Okay. So, you know, it's always nice when you can do all that together. I'm intrigued. Um, it's basically kind of, you know, the old-fashioned Chex Mix that, you know, my dad would make at Christmas or whatever. Um, but it's kicked up a little bit with some spice and, like I said, some Virginia ingredients. Okay. We're going to start out with um, three cups of wheat Chex. And the thing is, it's going to be loud. Um, Use kind of what your family likes. Like if you don't like wheat checks, swap it out. You basically need 12 cups of crispy bits. Okay. So this is another three cups of rice checks. What inspired this recipe right now? I was in the Northern Neck over the weekend. Oh, okay. And I found some great Virginia peanuts, and I was like, what can I do with this? Mm -hmm. So um, the other odd thing that's kind of in it that kind of makes you think of, you know, this part of the country is the oyster crackers. Okay. And so three cups of those. And finally three cups of small twisted pretzels or you could use pretzel sticks if you like kind of pop those in there another nice thing about this is you would have maybe all of these on hand you know, so if you have an yeah. impromptu visit in the backyard or and, something you know if you just get 12 cups of crispy stuff you're mm -hmm. going to be fine okay. so you know if you have more pretzels or more whatever or you know if your family loves pretzels double up the pretzels you do a little quality control yeah. before you put those in <laughs> these are the lovely and delicious virginia peanuts they kind of inspired the whole thing mm -hmm. delicious right mm -hmm. And those are salted. You want to get the salted ones. Okay. Um, so we want to just give this a mix. Mm -hmm. And then this would be great for little hands. Little people get the could kids. Work on we this. always yeah. did it as kids. We always help make it. Will you grab the um, butter out of the microwave? Sure. Uh oh. How do you work this thing? <laughs> it's a mystery. Okay. So a little melted butter. It's one stick of melted butter. Actually, just set that down there. We're gonna one mix. Stick. We're gonna do some um, mix-ins. Okay. We've got two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Sh uh, sauce. Don't okay. make me say that again. Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. <laughs> and three tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. Oh. And well, it is kind of a classic uh, Eastern. Eastern Shore kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. We've got a good squirt of, mm -hmm. I'm not going to squirt you. Okay. <laughs> you see me step away. <laughs> a good I squirt know of sriracha. <laughs> Mm, sriracha. About two teaspoons. If you hate sriracha, if you don't like hot sauce, leave it out. It's still going to taste delicious. Um, but and it, the other thing, too, is the opposite is if you like it spicy, put a ton in. It's going to okay. be really delicious. And something that you don't put in the regular one mm -hmm. is oh, a good oh, squirt see? of lemon juice. Needed my apron. Did I get you? I'm That's sorry. Right. Um, and then just give this a mix okay. until it's all together. Yeah, I won't make you do this next part. The next part is very messy. Okay. So we got a good mix on that. Okay. And we're just going to slowly kind of pour this over the top of... My husband makes, uh, you know, makes makes fun a little bit because I have a strategy when it comes to layering butter. You know, it's, yes. it's, a, it's a layering and a turning and a layering and a turning. I like <laughs> well, everything evenly coated. Absolutely. You could totally do that. Give this a good mix. Use your hand. Okay. And then make sure that your oven is preheated to 250 degrees. Mm -hmm. We're going to bake it? We're going to bake it. Okay. And we're going to bake it for about an hour, but we're going to stir it every 15 minutes. Okay. So that, once again, with your layering, mm -hmm. everything gets evenly crispy and evenly warm and delicious. And you should, at the end, you should see that there's no more leftover sauce in the bottom. Mm-hmm. And that's how you know it's done. Okay. See, it looks completely different. It's all dried and, and delicious. It sure does. And I almost see a little bit of toastiness on the oyster there crackers, is. There's right? The oyster, and the peanuts, too. You can totally see that. Okay. And so you can just scoop this up into a beautiful bowl and set it out for your friends. Now, Shane, is this one of those things, I guess it's not super make-ahead because you've got some ingredients that that <laughs> might, you know, not keep their crispiness. If so you make it ahead, you're going to eat it. Oh, this is true. So, yes, you totally can make it ahead. <laughs> Start in the, store in the cupboard. As long as it's well-sealed, it will stay crispy and delicious. But if you would like to um, kind of make it hot and have it warm, it's mm -hmm. delicious then, too. So, you know, Yum. just kind of do what you want. But, yeah, if this were in my cupboard, mm -hmm. I would eat the whole thing. Well, we'll do a little quality control here and... See what we're working with. My favorite are the wheat checks all soaked in the butter. It's delicious. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> I know. I sounded surprised. I know. <laughs> Everything you make is great. Thanks for being <laughs> back with us. Thank you. Mm.